All right, welcome back to Star Sector. So it's been quite a while. Uh, I'm sorry about the break in episodes. There may be some more in the future. We're still trying to buy a house and uh, get moved probably yet again. <clears throat> um, thank you, everybody, for the well wishes upon getting married. Um, now that we're married, uh, I've started doing my Borat impression for my wife constantly. My wife, she loves it. And, uh, you know, it's obligatory, although I don't technically work in an office nowadays, uh, I do consider myself an office worker, and that's just a mandatory part of our personality. Anyway, as I was saying, my wife is currently making me coffee, and we are going to go back. I want to do my, I got two things I want to do first. Let's go to Canta's Den. And I also want to go to our colony here in Penelope's star system. Um, I think we're going to go to Penelope's first. I think we're done with our stuff we wanted to do there. At Canta's Den. Did I, want to, did I want to establish another colony yet? I think I'll hold off. Yeah. We're okay for now. I do eventually, because I want fuel production. Anyway, and we need to go pick up our atlas. We're going to do that when we go back to the Glacia system. But I have a storage atlas. An atlas in storage, I should say in the Glacia system at Denriku Mining Station. Uh, as you'll recall, Denriku has destabilized into oblivion, is now just an abandoned warehouse, essentially. Got so many supplies we're burning up here. Okay, manage the colony. Let's assign our Gamma Core. And how is our growth doing? We are a free port, which is the only reason we're growing here. Yeah. Everything's coming in, so that's good. Okay, we're done with this. I guess we can see, see what he wants. Uh, I wish I could do this, buddy. I wish I could. Can't go to inje I can't go into hegemony space right now. And no. All right. Next is going to Canta's Den. Canta's Den. Laying a course for Canta's Den. How far away is our jump point? Kind of far. Space trucking. Our fleet looks like it's pretty much repaired now. Oh, we gotta outfit this one. Oh, the cat is walking across the keyboard. Come on, get out of the way. Move. Take your time. No hurry. All right. Just. Sticking her butt in my face. All right. Oh, and here's coffee. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. Oh, it tastes just like coffee. All right, here we are. No, actually, I don't want my transponder on. Actually, I can because I'm friendly with the pirates. Okay. Hmm, let's talk to this Reese Yoon. Alright. The comm signal struggles to establish through the ill-maintained local network. Patchy decryption and artifacts glitch spasmodically to resolve into the face of the pirate contact. I prefer to think of myself less as a pirate and more as a facilitator, she explains after you perform a perfunctory greeting. 
There will always be an underworld. Imagine the chaos if there were no guide to assist you in navigating these dark storms and eddies. Her slow smile reveals diamond teeth. How can I guide you today? Ask about a certain piece of technology. Ah, I've been expecting you. Uh, I have your package for a mere finder's fee of 74,000 credits. Uh, keep her talking while we send her marine raid. Yeah. Regardless of the crimes of your contact, there are likely to be serious reputation and consequences with the local authorities. Ooh, go back. Yeah, cut the comm link, leave. Now we do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, carrying out a raid will only result in a minor penalty to your standing. Okay, designate raid objectives, recover example. Whoop. The Marines are ready to go. Launch the raid. I lost two Marines. Reduced by four, that's okay. A thud and a bang carry through the pirate's calm line as the image goes fuzzy for a moment. She looks back at you, eyes wide with panic. You conniving clone of a... The comms go dark. You switch to the display to tactical feed from your marines just as they report success. She still likes us just as much as ever. Okay... I should probably buy some more supplies while I'm here. Novus Maxios is the place to do it. Hegemony expedition failed. Expedition force defeated. Relationship with hegemony reduced by five. Ooh, I want to kill them. If we can catch them. Nope, probably not. <sighs> da -da -da -da. We are on the open market. Good. Give me fuel. Let's sell some weapons. That's a good price. What's the base unit cost on heavy armaments? I can't remember. Price 435. I think that's no, that's not telling me what I want to know. Okay, anyway, we're not going to fuss with it. We just want uh, supplies, lots of them. That sounds good. Okay, and then is there any way? Man, they just don't have it. I need a better layout for this ship. I just don't know what it is. I'm thinking almost of turning these into the hell bores. I don't know. These would be good for Hephaestus. And, uh, yeah, the thing is, is that, um, what is it? The, uh, the HVDs have slow turn rate as well. Anyway, it's going to be fine for now. <clears throat> 46 suits, you say. That is a good deal. What do you want me to do? A revenant blueprint. Nah. A simple mission for you to carry out. Jingala, no. No, no, no. Let's go get that convoy.
they are running from us. They should. Top speed, 69, very slow top speed. 69, 47. Uh, this is why we have our eagle for 72. And you... Wow, top speed's 100. I can actually send it in. I just need my fastest ships is all. Yep. All right. Let's pursue them. Okay, who's going in? You and you. I need to put myself in command of the uh, Tempest. Ah, oh, god damn it. This guy's going to be a little bit of a challenge, isn't he? <sighs> he is. Okay, well, here's the deal. Why well, you jabronis stick with me? Transfer command. Okay. All right, pulse lasers are on auto fire. I'm in command of the torps. Let's go. Oh, this thing's pretty, pretty slippery. What's my, oh, it's the energy focus. out of here. All right, how we doing? Let the cruisers get away. Just want to get the cruisers. Don't even care about their other stuff. Okay, nothing but combat ships left. Take them down. <clears throat> I'm going to go on autopilot. Get 
Get in there, buddy. Use your burn drive. That'll cut him down. Falcon is dispatching the eagle. That's all that's left. It's distracting the eagle, I should say. Still perfect. Didn't lose anybody. Got, I think, almost all their freighters. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we'll recover the Colossus just in case we need storage for what we are about to salvage. Oh my, yeah, we do. Okay. Where is Nova Maxios? Hmm. We've got a ton of supplies now. We need to actually sell those. those dump those let's get rid of our weapons yeah I need the cargo space so they're going oh I hate to lose the rail guns Unmothball that, please. All right, add more cargo space. That's why I was like a little confused. Was why did I not get uh, why did I not get more space than I did? It's because this thing started out mothballed. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, go ahead and repair our ships. Let's go pick up the rest of our junk. Oops, not you guys. Oh, great, we got all of it. Next on our agenda, story mission, story mission. Let's go to Westerness. I'm not going all the way up there. Ah, uh, that would be tempting. How are we doing with the Ludic Path? Inhospitable. I think I'm going to stay focused for now. We 
bumped a few storms here on the way. And now we bumped a lot. Good job. Ah, uh, transponder on is fine. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, shuttle to the surface to pursue the list of Carew's uh, associates. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, descending through pillars of storm cloud over sparkling seas, your shuttle glides towards K. Arco, the cosmopolitan megalopolis arcology of Fickenheld. Uh, dampers dull the shock of atmospheric entry to a whisper as you review Baird's list of Carew's associates, starting with the first entry. Adonia Carew's is noted as surviving parent and lives in a pensioner's quarter. It seems reasonable to start with her. You stand for a moment at the transport hub considering your options. Visit Adonia Carews in the Overcity. You stand for a moment taking in the bewildering signage of the Kearco transport matrix before you shrug and allow your tripod to select the best route to the home of Adonia Carews. Cyclopean arcology substructure flashes by as you ride the primary ring tube to a far segment of the metroplex. A small passenger lift fills with the smell of sweat and machine oil of a shift of undersea laborers returning home. Glimpses of the towering arms of K. Arco flash by, glittering with thousands of windows. You find yourself guided through the heart of a residential stack, through a quiet plaza filled with retirees and well-tended foliage. Then before you is the door of Donya Cruz. You press the door chime and barely get out your excuse for the visit before being invited in. Adonia is more than pleased to have a visitor and, despite your protests, has a cup of tea cooling in your hand before you quite know what's happening. You have only to bring up her daughter to get Adonia talking. The girl is too clever for her own good, just like her father. Adonia shakes her head at an old memory but speaks of Sila with pride. The man who visited last time said that was all the questions they had. Didn't they find anything? But look at you. She admires your uniform. Are you also from Fleet? You manage to avoid answering that question. Adonia has a hollow feed of the King of Westerness holding court set to half volume and switches effortlessly between commenting on the proceedings and questioning you about personal matters. You hedge on your precise age, admit to operating a space fleet, and leave your, mar your marital status vague. She doesn't seem to mind your mumbled non-answers. Finally, you get a chance to ask one of your own. Who was it that was asking about Sila before me? Or do you know where I can find Sila? Just make sure you're seen by any observers. Uh, I'll ask who was looking for Sila. Adonia continues watching some scandal involving the King of Westerness, the man from League Fleet, or was it Domsek? Oh, you people can never get your record straight. It's that new king, so impressive at first, but if you only play to the locals, the bigwigs on Kazaron will take you by the so-and-so, that's what I say. Give this scandal another week and everyone will say, Adonia, you were right about everything. Anyway, that what was his name? Finlay something. He left a comms chip in case I had more questions, and I called, but it was an automated response. Can you believe that? So I threw it away. Let him apologize in person. I like you much better. You nod agreeably. An agent named Finlay, probably working for the Persian League's intelligence service. Interesting. Time to leave. Return to the transport hub. Visit Bion Lata in the exurbs. Bion Lata is tagged as childhood friend and lives in an exurb community. You take a transport line outbound to K. Arco Exurbs, a sprawling network of floating municipalities jostling in the sea at the base of the mighty half-submerged arcology. The monorail track gleams in the sun, a straight line toward the horizon like a hard point mounted particle lance shot through a nebula. The train breaks through a cloud bank and you feel the subtle pull of deceleration fighting with the aggrav field effect as you approach your target, a modular suburban conglomeration. You glance at your tripod to recall the name of the place, Seabank Oasis. You buzz at the doorway to one of the outer compartments. 
compounds. The green hint of a lawn showing through the translucent vitreous strip at the top of the wall. After a short delay, a comms plate activates and a tired looking woman appears in hollow. You ask if you are standing, if you are speaking with Bion Lata and would she mind answering some questions about Sila Karuz. She looks behind her, then lowers her voice to reply, yes. Didn't someone already come by to ask about her? I haven't seen Sila in years. Like I said, I didn't, I don't have much time for this. Tell me about this Agent Finlay. Who spoke with you? Oh, that was a couple weeks ago. He was very nice, well-dressed Agent Finlay. Finlay Siavong. He was with Fleet Intelligence. You're from Fleet 2, right? You make a non-committal motion that could be interpreted as a nod. Well, he asked a lot of questions. Can't you just talk to him? I really am in the middle of... You hear the thin wail of an infant from both the comps plate and over the compound wall. I have to go now. Sorry, Agent. Goodbye. The comms plate shuts off, replacing Beyond's face with the dancing Seabank Oasis mascot, and Agent Finlay Seavong, probably working for the Persian League's intelligence service. Interesting. Go back to the transport hub. Kevin Farrow's file has an... Jesus Christ, how many friends does this person have? Uh, has an attached file about an event at some kind of co-op operated by under city radicals. He seems like the sort that is used to hiding from the authorities. Maybe he or someone he knows is helping Carews. You scroll through some small holos of what passes for artwork in Kevin's association, and judging by the content, you feel that local DOMSEC probably has Kevin on a list. You stand for a moment at the transport hub considering your options. Visit Kevin Furrow in the Undercity. The transit lift descends into the subsurface districts of KRCO. Your tripod's directions lead you to an address where Kevin Furrow held what the event notice called a militant consciousness happening. That sounds appropriate. Along an anonymous stretch of shuttered depot fronts, you discover a secure door flanked by decaying polymer agita agitation prints chemmed out sleepers lie in entryways. It feels like the right place. Knock on the door. The damaged comps plate by the door speaks with a cackle. You, Domsec, we do not consent to a search, not without then some muffled words and a second voice interrupts. Shut up, I'll handle it. Hidden bolts withdraw and a man steps out. He's put on... A sour scowl for you and is dressed in a mix of dirt cider approximation of spacer gear mixed with the accoutrement of some local counterculture fashion. Wow, it's like a fusion of of left wing and right wing radicals. Uh, he pulls the door closed and with a lowered voice says, ignore that. Is she in more trouble? This is about the whole Galatia thing, isn't it? I assume you're Kevin Farrow. Yeah, obviously. He looks you over. You're not Domsec or Fleet. You a merc or some kind of spy. Your friend was already sniffing around here. We told him to go lick boots on Kazaron. Kevin crosses his arms impatiently and looks off down the Arco to making every effort to show that he doesn't want to talk. Well, um, just act extremely conspicuous for anyone watching. <laughs> I want to help Sila. Do you know where she is? Kevin raises his chin defiant. I'd like to believe that. I told Sila she couldn't sell out to the Glacier Academy without making compromises. He says the word like it's a curse. Ah, uh, yep. The rhetoric of a radical. Uh, he takes a breath, looks down, then continues quietly. She thought she was onto something bigger than all this, you know. Change the world, get us out of a closing trap, the Persian sector, I mean, and all the wars and ruin. I don't know if I believe it, but if anyone could help could come up with it with something i don't know what it'd be sila all right i gotta go you shouldn't be talking to me if anyone knows where she is maybe it's Elisa. he looks around then puts his body between you and the comms plate and holds out a knockoff data pad displaying a comms id glyph he stays silent but his look is almost pleading you quickly scan the glyph with your tripod which makes a satisfied chime received comms id for eliza zell okay it's not my place to say but eliza might know something ask her just don't come back here Kevin slaps the comps plate unlatching the door bolts he turns back to you for a moment but thinks better of it and disappears into the structure return to the transport hub all right return to your shuttle all right Eliza Zhao all right well we'll talk to her in the next episode as always guys thanks for watching I will see you next time until then bye bye